Hey guys, GNC here, and I want to do a quick review on Dragon Ball Super Episode 65. You can really call this a review. But yeah, basically this episode is just to show off that Zamasu's fusion is powerful. That's that's literally how you can sump the episode and end it. But there were a couple of things that were um, you know, that stood out, but uh mostly it was just Zamasu doing purple lightning like his name is Ryudo. Grandia 2 reference. Nobody's gonna catch that. Anyway, it was him versus basically Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks again. Not It's not that it's not interesting. It's just that you know what's coming, so you don't really want to see them doing this anymore. You know they can't beat them in this form, so you don't want to see it anymore. Although you do get some hype moments, like when that guy ran to the surface and got zapped by lightning. That was like the hypest moment of the episode. It just... Ah! It 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 was awesome. Yes, I, I thought that was awesome. <laughs> no, but really, you, it's that's pretty much all you can talk about is he just destroyed a lot of stuff in an already destroyed place, so it wasn't like it was impactful or anything. He killed somebody nobody really knew like that. And it was all meh. Trunks was like powering up, so I thought he was about to do some new transformation or something. But he just got the little blue aura around him again, and I don't, I don't, I just didn't see the point. And like I said, cool things were in this episode. I just didn't see the point to it. Like, to be honest, all jokes aside, the hypest part of this episode was when Trunks and Vegeta did their Gallic guns together that was cool because you always you know you well not always but you get to see Goku's family do Kamehameha's together Vegeta never has any moments like that you know that's why I really like this arc it's it's not just because of black which is now just Samasu with white hair well, he had white hair before. So Masu with Goku's hairstyle. There we go. And a, a Gundam halo on his back. <laughs> you know, it's... It's mm. it's because you get moments like this with Trunks and Vegeta. That you can't get in the regular show because Trunks is like a little kid. And they don't put any emphasis on kid Trunks or Goten for that matter now. But yeah, hypest moment, the Gallic guns, and here's my problem with this. You saw Trunks and Vegeta do their Gallic guns full power and stuff to push back Zamasu's, what do you call it, Heavenly Wrath or something like that. And then Goku does a Kamehameha by by himself and it just, it does about the same thing that they did together. That irritates me. It's that type of stuff that frustrates me in Super. You always see Vegeta do something awesome, and then the next couple of seconds, Goku tops it. That sets. That seems to be the pattern of Super. Yeah, Vegeta gets a moment, and then Goku does it better. <laughs> and Gohan still sucks, by the way. Just in case you were wondering, he still sucks. So we're not even going to put him in this. We're just going to focus on other people. Which, you know, Trunks is a cool character to be the focus. See, now I'm just going off on the the freaking season and the patterns of Dragon Ball Super instead of the actual show. And that's because there's no real substance to this episode. Also, the little girl went to grab Trunks' sword, it looked like, and I don't know what's going to happen with that, but we're waiting. Also, Vegeta got blasted so hard half his outfit flew off, and that was that was funny to me. That was just hilarious. He got blasted and his outfit just said bye. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but that's that's pretty much it. 
we're all waiting on the whole Vegito thing, and since they want to, um, you know, they spoil everything in the preview. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you could wait to the next episode to show us they turn into Vegito. It's like with the Zamasu fusion. They could have waited until the next episode for us to see it instead of throwing it in the preview. But then again, that's on me because I actually enjoy watching previews. And I know they're going to do some spoiler stuff in a preview instead of just giving you something like a hint at it. Don't give me the whole thing. You know, that's, that's what a preview is. It's supposed to be a hint, not the whole thing. Anyway, another cool part of this episode, because I'm trying to look for good stuff. Another cool part of this episode is when Goku and Vegeta said, you know, Saiyans don't have limits and powered up and flew at the giant purple bird. Uh, freaking um, eagle from Beyblade that the, the guy with the white hair had. It, it looked like that. But anyway, giant purple bird. They flew into it blew it up and then they tried to punch Zamasu and he grabbed their fist and the weirdest thing happened it's, it's like their 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 arms started to to bubble up it was weird the way they did that i don't know if it was supposed to look like that or if they just were being lazy with this it was weird it was odd and i liked it <laughs> That's the thing. It was so odd that I liked it. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got to say about this. There's nothing real, really special about this episode. But next week, we should get some good stuff. Seeing as there's going to be Vegito. Wish it was Gogeta, but oh well. He's not canon. Peace out, have a great day, and see you guys next time. Sumita.